to Pink Floyd High Hopes live at the Pulse concert. Um, I did this once before, but I had bad audio on it, so I'm going to be redoing it. So this is basically a review, but I'm going to be clicking screen record in three, two, one, and here we go. Right, okay, we'll get straight on with it. This is called High Hopes. I love the birds. The the sound of the birds. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna leave these here. You can watch them, right? You seem trustworthy. I swear, I'll try to fix that. Steps taken forwards, but sleepwalking back again. Dragged by the force of some inner tide. But a higher altitude with flag on foot. The dizzy heights of that dreamed of world Come 
Ruined forever by desire and ambition There's a hunger still unsatisfied Our weary eyes still stray to the horizon Go down this road we missed so many times The grass was green and That was incredible. And I hadn't listened to it for a while since the audio problems, but that was just incredible. There's just not much you can say about it except it's incredible. So let's look at the lyrics again because I haven't revisited it since then. And I always like to look at the lyrics and I always try to figure out like what the meaning is. It was just, even a second time, it's just, incredible, you know, no matter how many times. Okay, it says, the lyrics speak of the things one may have gained and lost in life. Written from Gilmore's autobiographic perspective, Gilmore said that 
the song is more about his early days and leaving his hometown behind than about the seeds of division supposedly planted in Pink Floyd's early days. Hmm. It says, if you listen closely to the lyrics, you can see this central theme of the song. It's about how how you are becoming old and start looking back at the life you had when you were young in your childhood. Hmm. This And then it says, the song is about the difference between our human experience and our true nature, to which we are returning as one being very soon. Beyond the horizon of the place we lived when we were young, in a world of magnets and miracles, our thoughts strayed constantly and without boundary. The ringing of the division bell had begun. Wow. So it says, when we were children, we were still very close to our true nature, which is our conscious experience in which we are guided magnetically, literally. We still have access to our conscious experience, but as soon as thoughts entered our minds when we were children and we were taught concepts and ideas about our reality, we started to replace our true reality with an artificial one, a reality that only exists in the mind. This is the ringing of the division bell. It's our world of duality, yin and yang. Everything has a counterpart in this divided world. However, in reality, we never have been separated from one another except from, except for in the mind only. When we were babies, we experienced everything as one, but this was temporarily undone by everything we have been taught to believe in. There was a ragged band that followed in our footsteps, running before times took our dreams away. Living the myriad small creatures trying to tie us to the ground, to a life consumed by slow decay. The illusion of time is what is keeping us all captive. We truly have become slaves of the clock, but time is, the, is only a human invention based on rotations of our solar system, while our whole solar system is a projection of light and sound waves to begin with. We, so we all... So we are all being held captive by an illusion that only we ourselves hold on to mental slavery. The myriad small creatures are all the pretty daily trivi tri trivialities, I can't speak, that we keep ourselves busy with and that distract us from what we really are to the trance of our illusionary world, our collective soul, spilt up in the mirror images that we are as humans keep running in circles and sentences us to a life consumed by slow decay because we never break out of the lifestyle we have. For as long as we keep believing in our illusionary world, also, see, wish you were here, for vivid symbolism. Okay. There's more to this. I could keep reading. But I may just put a link to this. On this video. But let me know in the comments. What you think about the song. And what you think the meaning is. I would love to know what you guys think the meaning is. And let me know if the audio quality is better on this one. But thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell to get notified for new and upcoming reaction videos. And as always. Thank you all for watching. I will try to put some of the meaning in the description box if you all want to check that out. So, thank you all for watching.